going to talk about our single arm row. So whenever we're performing a row, I'll show you quickly first what it looks like. Single arm. Pull. Pull. Now, the breakdown of that, the first thing I want to think about when I'm performing a row is what my stance is. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get a good base. So what I typically like to do is step out. And we're taking a big step out. The reason we're taking a big step out is we want to think about where our center of gravity is and more where that line of force is. The line of force means is my center of gravity directly with the weight. Okay. So when I'm doing this, as I take that big step, my center of gravity gets moved. Okay. If I'm standing, my center of gravity is right here. I can shift my center of gravity to the left, to the right. It stays in that same place. Okay. So we want to think about that. Now as we step out, big step, my center of gravity is right here, okay? That's typically, and the way you'll tell is it's generally, you know, where your hips fall in line if you've got a solid base. If I'm right here, my center of gravity can be moved a little easier because I'm not as based out, I'm not as wide, there's not as good a base as right here. Right here, if someone pushes me, I can hunch down and squeeze, okay? So when we grab the dumbbell, First thing we want to think about, and what I like to tell people is, I want my shoulder to be in the same place as my knee. So, right here, my shoulder's with my knee. Now my back almost wants to take the same angle as my leg, okay? I want to keep that same angle. Because you think about it, if, it's, if you're woodworking, if you're doing anything else, think of me as a solid twig. If I'm in a T-shape like that, and I push over, this is that front leg I fall on, I'm still saying that T stands straight up. That, that, that apparatus will stand straight up, okay? So I want to keep that same motion because that's from stronger. So I grab the dumbbell, shoulders right there, my center of gravity is still in this line, so I want to pull in that line. So when I pull up, I'm bringing the elbow back and I'm keeping the weight in that center of line. So the elbow shifts and I squeeze my back, but the weight doesn't move out, it doesn't move forward because this mass is going to dictate where my center of gravity moves. If I throw something out here, then my center of gravity is going to move that way because that's where movement is going. If I go out here, my center of gravity is going to move there. I'm going to stay in a straight line. So when I pull, and you saw me stumble a little bit when I was shifting the weight. So right here, center of gravity, back is the same motion as the leg. Pull, squeeze the back. Now I don't return to the bottom. Okay? And we don't want to do that. We return to where we're in a fully lengthened state, and then back. One. Eyes forward. Two. Three. Four. Keep that center of gravity. Same thing. Kettlebell, even easier. One. Two. Three. How high do I pull up? You pull till you feel the stretch in this part in this area right here. Okay. So our lats are there, we're pull down. 